favorite song I released probably I mean honestly it's it's hard to say it always changes but I've said it before on here uh, I really liked how our millennial love song it it didn't do well but I liked how that song turned out how underrated yeah I mean I um I get it though you know it's like country and it's not, it wasn't the most like relevant topic at the time, but I liked how it turned out. That's why I like it. If I had to pick, I also really liked Coffee Shop Love. How that sounded. Um, all those all those songs I did with Josh, man, he's so good at. Uh, Josh Golden, yeah, SWG. All the songs I did with him, he's so good at making melodies and stuff. Like, I'm I'm happy with those. I think Coffee Shop Love was like up there too for me. If I could go back, I would reperform it differently. At the time, I was trying to do like a whole monotone Drake voice thing, but it didn't really work out the way I wanted. What was I doing? <clears throat> Hold on, let me listen to that. It didn't sound like Drake. That's the problem. For SWG2, I was doing a voice. Both those songs, we did it so quickly that, like, I wish I had gone back and redone it. Let's see. Coffee shop. Oh yeah, now I remember how I did. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I was doing like this. You know how you push your throat out, like uh, oh you, oh you got, uh, oh you caught my eye. You got that thing I like. That's how I sang it the whole time. You got, uh, you, you got that thing I like. Never been in love, but I think I might be. It's like almost a little emo. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, uh. <laughs> Why did I sing it like that? I've never been in love, but I think I might be. It's like a little bit of emo with a little bit of rap, and I don't know why we didn't go back and fix that. Damn, bars. Where you at, Rendissima? I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, you caught my eye. That's what I did. Falling for you. It's like, now that I think about it, it's super alternative. Like love at first sight. It's almost like, like love at first sight. Why did I do it like that? Yeah, you're stirring me up. But it's bittersweet. Fun fact, there's certain words in there that I was working with our producer, Sean. Uh, not the Sean you guys know. Um, and he would help coach me with words. Like some words that were like, uh, like, okay, here's a good example. Because I already got one instead of already. You see that? You see how cool I am? Because I already, because <laughs> I already got one. I didn't know how to say words cool. There's another one earlier that I was struggling with. Ah. Even the word love, I couldn't do. Never been in love. But I had to say, never been in love. Oh, thank you, true love. Thank you. That worked out fine. Fallen. Okay, that wasn't the word. What was the word I'm looking for? Should probably put this up here for you guys.
Josh's voice is hella good. His voice is so high and so pleasant to listen to. I was so proud when I wrote that line, and now looking back, it's really not really relevant to the song. Hold up, listen. I'm all ears when you need to venti. I'm all the way right there, Ariana Grande. Like, I get it, like, the sizes are the relation to coffee. But there's really no relevance other than that to Ariana Grande and her music. Her songs, they weren't even like that popular, those ones. Anywho, I'm just critiquing myself. I was proud of it at the time, but it's a stretch, Ryan. Also fun fact, that's just water dyed with a bunch of dyes because we didn't have that much coffee and it was cold and disgusting. <laughs> fun facts, I'm exposing my ass. Wow. Them ad libs. <laughs> Another fun fact the ad libs, normally what you want to do is kind of plan them out, or at the very least, I know that's not ad libbing, but that's what people do. Um, we ran through it one take and the producer Sean was like, oh, that's good. So we stuck with that. We literally made this song in a night and we wrote it in a day at a coffee shop. That wasn't that fun, but that's a fact. Without you. <laughs> Get it? Because he's coughing. <sighs> That Derek catch. Fun fact, this girl's name is Catherine. Wait, hold on. This girl, this girl, hold on. Oh my god, what is go- Okay, you know what? You see this little square down here? You see the square? Right here? I can't freeze it on the frame there because it's not working. I- Oh, there- Oh, there we go. Okay, this- So, what was I gonna say now? Anyway, this girl's name is Catherine. And the reason why I used her for this is because the original shoot, I think- it might have been expectations versus reality. Action? No. Relation? I don't know what it was. Anyway, we had to do a scene where I had to kiss her. I don't know if it was before this video. Um, and essentially what happened was in Vegas, we don't know many people for one. We had to find people who would be for one down to do that. And could act a little bit and had a certain look 
And anyway, we thought Catherine, she was a big help to us. She was in a lot of, a lot of, a few of the videos, um, like best, worst boyfriend, best boyfriend ever. It was, was that what it is? Was that what it's called? Anyway, regardless, we had used her before for on screen kit for an on screen kiss scene. And so like, it wasn't like weird. You know what I mean? Like if you have already done it before, it's not a big deal. Um, and then for this one, at the time, she wasn't dating anyone. For this one, she was dating someone. So we're like, okay, well, it's going to be the same scenario. It doesn't really mean anything. Like if you were to act, right? But it's just a little bit different. Oh, worst boyfriend ever. Yeah, that's what it was called. That's not the one I had to kiss her for. But um, but for this one, she was dating somebody. So at the same time, we have to think when we shoot it, we can't make it look it's the, it's supposed to look wholesome too, like a simple peck. So if you notice, pan away. That's why we did. That was our way of basically making it more innocent. You know what I mean? Fun fact. 